you know one of the big burning questions is what's the difference between wing back and full back on attack today we find out So crew, how are you doing? So a lot of the questions that come through are about wing backs because we all love to use them, right? But people are confused about the difference between wing backs and then when you slap a full back onto attack. What's the difference? What's most effective? When should we use it? Let us get down and dirty and let's find out. So I guess in any of these videos, we're going to compare a couple of players and it's these two we're going to use today. It's Giuseppe Pazella and Hans Hertebohr from Atalanta. They're both really aggressive wing backs. The traits are very similar, running with the ball, getting forward a lot. So they're going to be the two that we're going to compare as we go through. So what I want to show you first is the familiarities between a wing back on attack and an out and out winger. They're going to have a lot of attributes that are cross pretty much the same. Remember, wing backs were initially created to play down one side of the pitch. So down here, we've basically nobody in front of them. So an inside forward works, but basically, they were really created back in the day for wing back systems starting there and they were going to control that entire flank now as the day the game's got more aggressive sorry they do work with other players down the same flank but initially they were there to do that whole flank so they need a lot of the attributes that a winger has let us start on wing back attributes first what the game shows you so we've got defense highlighted but we're going to go for attack because i know what that's the one that most people use so wing back on attack attributes there you can see now Crossing, dribbling, these are things that you associate with wingers as well. Acceleration, agility, pace, same gig. Marking, now that's going to be unique to your wing back, but all the others, things like technique, passing, decisions, acceleration, pace, and crossing and dribbling are very much like a winger. In fact, let's have a look. So if you go to the winger on attack, you can see the difference is minimal. Basically, the winger will drop a couple of the defensive responsibilities, but wing back is basically exactly the same. So what you're basically having is a winger but a lower starting point with more defensive responsibilities. So your wing back on attack is basically a winger. And that's the first thing to remember. If you're going to use a wing back on attack, they are super aggressive. They're going to try and do the role of a winger as well. And secondary role really is the fullback. So if you're looking to defend, wing backs on attack is not the way to go. Now then, fullbacks on attack. Fullbacks on attack. So you can see here that Pazella likes playing the fullback on attack role. Bang. Again, it looks pretty similar, right? And this is where the confusion comes in. So that's fullback on attack. And you can see the roles and attributes there. Pretty much similar to the wingback on attack. Where he's doing a lot of the wingers roles as well. With a few defensive responsibilities thrown in. So far I haven't really solved this have I? Next up we'll look at the hard coded player instructions for each role. And there's got to be a difference there. Right? I mean the better had be otherwise this video is completely dormant and pointless. Okay, highlighted here is Pazella again with his wing back on attack duty. Now, if you look at his player instructions in the corner there, you've got dribble more, run wide with the ball, cross more often, cross from the byline, key one, get further forward. So those are telling us that when he gets the ball, he's going to be super aggressive, he's going to dribble, he's going to stay out wide of it, and he's also going to get himself as close to the byline as possible before he's crossing that ball in. Now, the fullback on attack, his hard coded are a lot less. If I take one of my PIs off there, you can see it's basically just cross more often and get further forward. Whereas the wing back on attack, as a little reminder, over on the other side, hard coded, dribble more, run wide, cross from the byline. So we're not asking the fullback to get to the byline. We're not asking him to dribble wide and run with the ball. We're not asking him to dominate that flank. We're just asking him to be a bit more aggressive than he normally would. Still using attributes used by a winger as well. So from that, the first part of this tells me that your wing back on attack, he can dominate that entire flank. So he's going to be useful in narrow systems, such as a wing back system with three centre backs or the legendary 4 3 1 2. He's going to be classed for that. Your full back on attack can still be used in the 4 3 1 2. He will get up and down, but not as high and aggressive. And obviously, in a wing back system, you can't use him unless you start him way deeper. So it's more of a defensive option if you're using three centre backs. Ideal systems for a wing back on attack. If you want to play four at the back and narrow your wing back on attack in this sort of system, 4 3 1 2 will do the bits for you. He'll get up and down there. You've got a bit of cover in midfield to help out. Perfect sort of formation. There's all sorts you can use there. You could have a normal diamond, that sort of shape. Ideal if you want to start your wing back a bit further back. You can obviously start him higher up in a three at the back system where his starting position is there. So you've got cover in behind from a third centre back as I drop him back there. 
So he's got the covering behind there. And he's got free reign to dominate that flank. Those sort of formations are ideal for your wing back. Same formation, you can of course have your full backs as a full back on attack. He will have less inclination to get right to the byline there, but he will still still be aggressive, sorry. But he won't bomb up and down the whole time. So if you start with a wing back on attack, for example, and then maybe drop to a full back on attack when you've got the lead, that could be an option there. Your full backs on attack, they can be pretty much used in any four at the back formation. I really like them to use them in a 4 2 3 1 because they can back up the players that are out wide there inside forwards, inverted wingers, whatever you like, even if you like having a winger there. Normally, I wouldn't suggest a winger with an aggressive fullback because a lot of the time, as we saw, they have similar attributes. They want to do the similar sort of thing. If you're going to use that sort of system, I would always throw in the run from position for your winger just so he's not glued to the touchline to give your fullback or wingback a bit of room there. But any four at the back formation where you want your fullbacks to support the attack, having them on attack is a great option. For this test, we're just going to use this 4-3-3, the 4-3-3 death drop, which I sometimes use in draft mode, but we use it because we've got wing back on one side, full back on the other, and above them, two inside forwards. So those two inside forwards are going to move in there like that and give room to the two boys behind them. So we'll be able to see what they get up to. Okay, into the match we go, and as always, I'm using the Tato skin because the Tato skin gives me the ability to watch the heat map during the match and see the positioning of all the players. And 2D Classic as well, because I can see the whole pitch and it really helps me see where the players are now. The two we're focusing on, kickoff's just about to start, is Hattabo there and Pazella there. You can see the starter positions are very similar. We've got one, Pazella, two there. So the start in the same position. So when it kicks off, it starts to change. First clip's really interesting. I've just paused it and I've just rewound it so you can check it out. So we're going to eyes on Hattabo there, the right back. So when he gets the ball... Duban, you can see how to ball. Look at him. So he's aggressive. He's getting forward. Ilchich has got the ball. Now, for me, if that's a wing back on attack, he goes round there like that to supply the overlap, the natural overlap. However, he's a full back on attack, so he hasn't got hard coded instructions to run wide with the ball, to stay out wide like the wing back on attack. So he comes inside, look. He comes inside, gets the ball pretty much. He's getting towards the goal. Again, if he was wing back on attack, he'd be out here. What does he do? He comes inside, loses the ball. So that's interesting. With 30 minutes gone, there's the heat map, and that's Alan Atalanta over here. Now, you can see a slight change there. You can see Pazella, number 13, is a little bit wider, and he's a little bit more advanced than the right fullback, who was a fullback on attack. So he is slightly more advanced there. We can look a bit more detail. In possession, so this is in possession, you can see Pazella there just by my head. He is right closer to the halfway line, whereas head to ball there, a little bit further back. That's in possession. So when we're in possession, he is storming up that way down the flank basically and you can see he's wider as well so i paused it up now you remember the first clip we saw where we saw i had to ball the right back he got the ball in this area and cut inside didn't he now look at the opposite for pazella the wing back on attack so he's going to receive the ball here there he goes he gets the ball plays it to the rune gets it back now instead of looking inside for a pass or cut inside he's hard coded to play like a winger and that's what he's going to do he's going to hug the touch line look at him run down the line take on his man get to the byline and that's where he crosses the ball from big difference so seeing those two clips you should now be able to see a bit of a difference there between the two roles your wing back on attack is literally going to play like a winger so if your wing back your full back does not have great dribbling for example it's probably better off on support where you can control how much he dribbles clip here for the defensive side now we haven't got the ball torino have got the ball way way back on their 18 yard box my center backs are in a good position full back on attack in a decent position as well Pazella, however Still aggressive minded, still want to get forward. So you've got to bear that in mind because that gap there is exposed because he's so aggressive. Good outing from them two boys. Pazella as the wing back on attack, Hatabo as the full back on attack. It's pretty clear to me that if you're looking for a more solid option, but with an eye on aggression as well, full back on attack is the one for you in a back four. Wing back on attack will give you that more attacking thrust, but it does bring risks as well. So it's a bit of risk reward. But hopefully you can see the very definite difference between the two roles. Any questions at all on today's video, please bang them down below in the comments. If you're enjoying the content on the channel, do me a favor, give us a thumbs up down there, drop a comment. The more of those I get, the more people will see the video, the bigger the channel will grow, and the more videos I can make for you guys as well. So it's all a big help. Hope you enjoyed that, and I shall see you soon.